Jerusalem residents took cover when the air raid siren sounded. Israeli officials say a Hamas rocket missed the city, landing harmlessly in the outskirts. The holy city had previously been considered beyond the range of Hamas rockets. Police say the missile was one of about 95 launched from Gaza on Tuesday. Several cars were hit, but no casualties were reported. In Gaza, an Israeli strike heavily damaged the Islamic National Bank. Israeli authorities say the bank was set up to avoid international sanctions on Hamas, the militant group that rules the Palestinian territory. Israel is also targeting Hamas leaders, but dozens of civilians have been caught in the deadly crossfire. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is now on her way to the region in search of peace. She will meet first with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and then the Palestinian president, but not with Hamas leaders. The U.S. considers Hamas a terrorist organization and will rely on Egypt and other nations to use their influence with Hamas. Our bottom line is that peaceful outcome has to include an end to rocket fire that threatens Israel. Egypt has been working to broker a truce. Its president says Israel's aggression against Gaza will end today. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, the White House.